Wow. Oh, got to get your blood up for the <laughs> I heard there's going to be a great wrestling match today between two important Bible folk today on geography around the world. We're studying the history of the big whale. Today, I'm cooking with Jacob and Esau. We'll learn how to make humble pie. Mm. Oh, oh, here it is, here it is. The wrestling match just started. In one corner, we have the all-powerful, mighty God. In the other corner, we have Jonah, a man with a plan 
Oh, it's on. Not God. Jonah sort of worked for God, you know, like as his messenger service. If God had a message to deliver, he'd send Jonah instead of sticking a postage stamp on a letter or sending an email. They're scheduled for three battlegrounds here. Oh, the first battle is heating up, but I don't want to go to Nineveh. These people there that they are so bad, they always disobey you, and okay. I don't no, no, no. to be around them. Jonah, I see the evil things they do. Go there. I heard there's going to be a great wrestling match today between... I heard there's going to be a great wrestling match today between two important Bible folk. Today on Geography Around the World, we're studying the history of the big whale. Today on Cooking with Jacob and Esau, we'll learn how to make humble pie. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, here it is, here it is. The wrestling match just started. In one corner, we have the all-powerful, mighty guard. In the other corner, we have Jonah, a man with a plan of his own, not God. Jonah sort of worked for God, you know, like as his messenger service. If God had a message to deliver, he'd send Jonah instead of sticking a postage stamp on a letter or sending an email. They're scheduled for three battlegrounds here. Oh, the first battle is heating up, but I don't want to go to Nineveh. These people there that they are so bad, they always disobey you, and, and I don't care to be around them. Jonah, I see the evil things they do. Go there and tell them to shape up. Well, folks, it looks like Jonah's off on his mission. We can see him moving right now. He, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jonah is going the wrong way. That's right. That's not where God told him to go. He is now walking up to a boat. And is this boat going to Nineveh? And now uh, we're, we're, we're going off. Great, great. Let me out. It looks like Jonah's going to disobey God. And now he's getting away. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonah just won the first round. It's very strange, very strange. He's enjoying the luxury of the boat. And he appears to have found a way to run away from God. But wait, even as I speak, a huge storm cloud is moving above the boat. Hey! No! Where did this storm come from? It wasn't on my radar. What are we going to do? We're too far away from the shore to go back, Captain! Hey, everyone. We're going to sink into the sea if we don't do something fast. Everyone, right? Where's that fellow who hung on the boat at the last minute? You! Why are you sleeping at a time like this? Get up and pray like the rest of us. This storm could kill us all. I can't pray because I'm running away from God. And if I pray, he'll know where I am. So this is all your fault. You caused this storm? God must be really ticked at you. Well, folks, it looks like God isn't about to give up this battle without a fight. Even if Jonah won the first round. Ah, oh, they're all gathering on the deck with the sailors. Captain, the water is coming in by the bucket load. If we don't do something fast, the boat is going to break apart. This is all my fault. I made God mad. Just throw me overboard, then the waters will calm down. It appears now the sailors do not want to throw Jonah overboard. They're going to try and row really hard to make it back to shore. Ah, oh, but I see that the storm is becoming worse. Sorry, Jonah. It doesn't seem to be any other way. Out your nose. He shoots. He scores. Oh, wrong game. Hey, the water is getting calmer already. <laughs> hey, 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 God. Since you know where I am, could you help me? Could you help me out? Looks like God may win this round. Jonah's going under. He's down for the count. One. Two, three. No, no, wait. He's back up again. No, he's down again. Oh, no, now he's back up again. God, help me. Ladies and gentlemen, I see something huge right behind him. Something approaching with intense speed. It's a... What is that? Believe it. 
it, ladies and gentlemen. Jonah is stuck inside a big, fat whale. God definitely won this round. It's one to one. Round three will be the tiebreaker. Oh, God, I know what's sad to save me. But what is this? I have to stay inside a fish? Well, well what's the big idea? Oh, okay, God. I've learned my lesson now. I've learned my lesson. Oh, God. I can use some help in here. Down here. Remember me? Ladies and gentlemen, it has been three long days. Or, or is that rounds? Why that? Why that? Jonah must not have really learned his lesson right away because God has not let him out of the whale now for three days. Or maybe that's just how long it took the whale to swim to the right place. The place where Jonah should have gone instead of trying to run away. Okay, God. Okay, look. I think I understand now. I... I was supposed to go to Nineveh and deliver your message, and I, I didn't. I thought I could just run away from you. That was pretty dumb of me. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 what's happening now? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, our apologies. It's the Technicolor Yarn, the Big Hurl, Ralph Arama City. That whale has just regurgitated Jonah, along with his lunch of catfish, seaweed, one boat anchor, a license plate, and 47 varieties of sea life. It's all over the beach. Nevertheless, guess where he just landed? Yes, your guess is correct. Smack in good old Nineveh. God has a real sense of humor, doesn't he? Either that, or he, being a fine sportsman from all eternity, really knows how to win a good wrestling round. Okay, God. Okay, well, whatever you want, I'll do it. What's next? Get up, Jonah. Preach against the city of Nineveh what I tell you to preach. You got it, Lord. You got it. Anything for you, Lord. Just don't put me back in another fish. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand amazed. Jonah's actually delivering the message to the people in Nineveh that they're sinners and need to turn back to God. That if they don't, God will destroy their city. And ladies and gentlemen, they are actually listening. I guess they really needed to hear God's message. No wonder God wanted Jonah to obey. Ladies and gentlemen, the three round match between God and Jonah is history. A final score. God two, Jonah one. God won the match as he always does. I must say, Jonah was a bit of a sore loser. He didn't quite understand why God wanted to forgive those people. <laughs> but you know what? Hearing about Jonah makes me think twice about disobeying God. I mean, who wants to spend three days stuck in the belly of a big fish? Phew, do you mind? Wow. Awesome.